what is up guys welcome back to another daily build video this time we're in unbound and we're checking out that brand new r8 coupe let's go real quick before we get into the video if you're looking for any of my builds on need for speed either heat or unbound you can go to militiagamingco.com click the need for speed builds link at the top of the page and uh, that'll send you to our nice little builds app all right let's get into this r8 so I don't need to really go through all of the customization because I think by now you probably have seen it. You can scroll through the speed pass and check out the body kits for the car, but I will take you through the performance parts of this car. And then I'll show you a race that I had just a few seconds ago on Big O. It actually is very fast. It is a very, very solid S plus car. The question is, is it as good as the Regera? Now the Regera has been widely known since the launch of the game as the top dog in s plus and i think it still remains that way but there are slight little places where this r8 is better and i think that's in a short track environment so places where you have to have really sharp turns the r8 does very well because its turning radius is extremely extremely tight whereas the regera sort of understeers a lot of those corners and you have to slow down a lot more now the regera does have a lot better acceleration and it responds to your burst nos a lot better than this one does however this actually keeps up with the regera if your driving skill is not super far off that of the regera driver now if the regera driver knows what he's doing they're going to gap you on this one. But I've had a plenty of public lobbies where I've won, where I've come in second, or, you know, just a couple of seconds behind the Regera. And oftentimes, the difference is really not even the cars. It's actually the traffic that makes the difference in the race. And whoever survives and drives the cleanest ends up winning the race. But I will give you the build that I recommend for this car. But before we get into my specific S Plus build, let me show you the engines for the car because the engine stats are kind of interesting. After doing some testing, I actually found that the 707 horsepower 6.2 liter V8 was the right engine to go with. And then I built everything else. So as you can see, I own every single engine. I did all the hard work for you. You don't have to buy all these engines. The only one you're gonna wanna buy is a 707 horsepower because take a look at these engine stats so that engine has the greatest top speed of 236 the 0 to 60 of 2.1 which is the best and a couple other engines actually offer a 2.1 as well and then the power is 1223 horsepower and the torque is 1033 it has the best power the best amount of torque the best 0 to 60 the best top speed i mean all around it's just the right engine to go with you might be inclined to try this v12 but the v12 is actually third on my list in terms of the stats now obviously it's really difficult to test cars and test engines in this game so i did a couple of laps around the track with each engine fully built and fully specced out and this 707 100 was the fastest engine it's just really difficult for me to show you those types of testing because it takes a number of laps with each engine to make it work so anyway testing cars in unbound really could have been made easier had they allowed us part switching and the ability to start races solo but hopefully we get that in a future update anyways uh, i recommend the 707 horsepower 6.2 liter v8 so now for the parts on this s plus build pretty common it's just a full grip build you got to elite everything with a single turbocharger and an elite nitrous for the chassis, I'm going with Elite Road Suspension, Elite Brakes, and the Elite Grip Tires. Then we move into the Drivetrain Elite Clutch, Elite 8-Speed Gearbox, and the Elite Differential to give you that 100% grip handling. And then for the Auxiliaries, I run Drift and Grip. And then for the handling, 100% uh, on grip, like I said, steering sensitivity in the middle. Now, you might want to drop this just a little bit. In fact, after driving this a lot, I've been wanting to drop this steering sensitivity just a tiny bit. But... As far as what I've tested, zero steering sensitivity actually performs very well. Downforce all the way down. Traction is off and drift entry is on brake tap. Like I said, it is a full 100% grip build. All right, as I'm driving up this hill, I want to talk about the handling model just a little bit because it is quite a bit different than the other cars. It is harder to keep your your micro drift alive and the steering sensitivity, as you can see, by that three burst turn is very tight which is why i've been wanting to drop the steering sensitivity or the handling sensitivity no steering sensitivity why i've been wanting to drop the steering sensitivity um is because of that right there so but as you can see man it just 
It's very responsive. Especially if you give it a brake tap just before the turn. It definitely wants to turn. So I I highly recommend this. <laughs> Why did I do that? All right, let's keep going. I highly recommend this for a, like the tighter courses. If you can see which course you're racing before, which I know is not like the easiest. See how it it just wants to completely turn around. It's usually only apparent with those three burst turns. The two bursts, not too bad. Accelerates very well. Right out of the turns. And I don't know, man. It just, it's kind of nice, dude. It's, it's just kind of nice to drive. It's also a nice change from the Regera. I mean, if you're in S+, Plus, that's the car that, that everybody's going to be driving, right? I think you can compete with this one. Oh my gosh, dude. You can see it's no slouch, man. Oh my god. <laughs> I murdered that guy. <laughs> and then just ran into this thing and killed the car. Alright. Anyways, man. This thing is uh This thing is actually a beast. It's a it's a legit beast. Alright, before we end this video, I'm gonna show you uh one run that I did on Big O. It's not like the most clean run. It's fairly clean, but it's not like the cleanest. Uh, and it gives you a good idea of what the car cruises at and uh, and how sensitive the steering is. And uh, anyway, I think it's kind of interesting. If you guys want to stick around and watch that, that'd be great. Uh, if not, you know, I totally understand. You've got your build and uh, we can move on to the next one. So I appreciate it. Enjoy this run on Big O and I will catch you on the next daily build. Thank you so much for watching. Trigger out.